Hey everybody, what's up? It's Dark Maple GMS. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while. I took a break from Maple, but um, I'm back and I'm making a video requested by a lot of you. Um, the top five classes, in my opinion. Uh, this doesn't mean that they're the best. They're just the ones that I like the most, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, here we go, I guess. Uh, coming in at number five, we have the Dragon Knight or Spearman. Um, if you played pre-Big Bang, I really recommend playing this class. Um, it's really not a overpowered class at all. Um, it's actually really underpowered, to be honest, and that's why I really love it. Um, with the red update, they added in a few skills that um, really make it fun, um, because before I really didn't seem that fun. But with the red update, uh, they added in a few skills, like the spinning one, that make it really fun. And um, they have insanely amount of high HP. They have almost no MP, um, but they have a lot of moves that heal HP, so you should be fine. Um, they could boss, so overall it's a pretty good class. They have good buffs, and um, yeah, really fun. So moving on to number four, it's going to be the Ice Lightning Mage. Now the Ice Lightning Mage was actually my second class to get fourth job. Um, back and I don't even know when a long time ago but um the reason why my ice lightning mage is number four is because um as a lot of you guys know I like to play only um adventurer explorer classes whatever you want to call them and um ice lightning mage probably has the best mobbing skills so um that's why it's my favorite because most other explorer classes don't have uh, mobbing skills um like all mages really low hp but really high mp um the red update has some really nice skills uh not really good for bossing but you know it's whatever uh coming in at number three is the shadower i uh, really didn't play this class until about this year to be honest um, I had one when I first started playing during beta, but I like only got it up to level 10 or something. Um, really fun class. Uh, has hit so many times. It's I just think it's fun. Uh, has some really unique skills. And um, bossing, yeah, I could boss. So I guess that's that. Uh, coming in at number two, again, another class that I just haven't made till this year. Amazing class, though. It's my bishop. Um, you know, it's really fun being a support player, believe it or not. So that's why I love my bishop. Um, before the red update, I would say bishops are pretty weak. But with the red update, I mean, they're definitely not strong. But I think they're pretty powerful. Um, you could do big bang now in a limited amount of times really unique it's so fun to use like the moves like resurrection and mystic door and um, you know all that stuff really fun uh, Genesis is really fun and um, perfect for bossing because everyone needs a clerk support character um, so number one you guys could probably guess it it's Night Lord wow I just messed that up Night Lord uh, main character first character I ever made um, level 130 currently uh, I've been playing since 2006 I'm only level 130 but that's cuz I'm um, not the biggest grinder out there but anyways it's a really fun class um, probably one of the best not the best bossers best bossing class um, for explorers really high damage it can hit insane damage if you're funded uh, if you're not funded still a fun class just not as good not as powerful but if you're funded this class could hit some really really high damage and they're also very fast which is good um so bossing definitely a yes um mp and hp wise they have really low hp and their mp is about average uh but you have moves like moves like substitution that will just completely ignore all the damage done to you uh you have nimble body you have dark sight obviously you have things to help you out but um really just you have to play one to really 
really just see if you like it or not. It's either like a love it or hate it class. I don't know anyone who's just like, nah, Night Lords are alright. But um, just play it through and, you know, make your decision from there. Uh, I recommend playing all these classes, even though they're all explorers or adventurers, whatever you want to call it. Um, great, great, great classes. I uh, definitely recommend it just to give it a shot if you're bored or whatever. Um, if you are not sure what class to make, this isn't really the best video for you because I'm just going over my personal favorite. Um, and really what class you make should be 100% up to your play style and things like that. But, um, I hope some of the clips here and some of the few things I just pitched in help out a little bit. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. And, um, I actually just created a guild not that long ago called Voices. And, um, I'm trying to get it pretty high up there. Um, we need level 2 to have an emblem with the new update, it's really dumb. Uh, right now we're halfway there and I just made it last night. So if you want to join, all you have to do is just press G or go to the guild tab. Um, and then click search and then type in voices, V-O-I-C-E-S, spelled completely normal. Or you could type in my username, um, I'll have that on the screen. And uh, yeah, you could join. I'm accepting anybody who wants to join. It is on Windia. And um, yeah, so again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe if you already haven't. And I'll see you later.